all the big ugly shit. Oh my god, it's back? Alright guys, welcome to episode 4 of The Promised Neverland. As you remember, in the last episode, the kids ended up finding some crazy-ass underground shelter that had everything that you could imagine. Water, food, a garden. Everything was down there. But upon further inspection, they ended up finding things that I believe that they were not supposed to be seeing. And I believe um, Minerva actually hit up um, Emma and Ray downstairs when they found that secret room which is kind of sus because that means that william minerva was watching them probably the whole time and they knew or he knew that they were down there but anyway let's get started with this episode if you guys enjoy hit that thumbs up subscribe if you guys are new and let's get it started see yeah right here look so minerva ended up calling him out the blue if you answer this call i believe you're an escapee but how did he know that they were there that's my question my real name is james ratari i used to be affiliated with the farms but one day it became unbearable to me knowing that you children were being sacrificed from a what from a promise made between humans and demons 1000 years ago but i couldn't break that promise so it was him he slipped all the clues into the books so the children could escape while pretending to be an imaginary person named William Minerva. Now, what did this look? What did these kids find? Wait, was it William Minerva that was trapped in that room? Future. The people are there sure to accept you. If you type down future, so I guess if they type it into the pen, they're going to take them to a location where people are going to be there. Okay, so Minerva's the one that guided them there. We got that. Here's my question. How much battery power does that pen have? Because that pen has been transmitting a lot of light and a lot of information. And I haven't seen them charge that shit one time. Of course it's a map. What did you expect? How far away is it though? It's at the edge of the west side. It's really far. First is fill exactly. Build a foundation so they can live there. They can prepare themselves. Get the necessary food necessary tools then when you're ready embark out and try to get there don't just fucking willy-nilly leave the shelter and go out there because that's that's just stupid i promised norman after all that i wouldn't give up i won't let anyone die uh i mean hopefully that doesn't happen but i mean mm, wake up or you're miss breakfast damn so i guess she's gonna keep a diary now like a journal entry exactly writing down everything that's happening keeping logs look how much food they have in that shelter william minerva had these guys ready and prepared. They're making the weapons that um that the demons taught them inside the cave. Learning how to use the archer bows. These guys are going to be soldiers by the end of this. Oh, damn. They got a couple of these birds. They, they're eating some good fried chicken tonight. Why are these little kids running in the caves, bro? They should not have these kids running in the caves. This little kid look like Norman. So this is kind of like a little ass interlude section, I guess, of the episode where they're showing everyone getting better. Everyone is just everyone's getting their skills honed. They're learning how to cook. All the good shit, right? Like I said, this is the calm before the storm. They're making everything look beautiful right now. Like, oh, everything is sugar and rainbows. Oh, come on, man. Get these. Oh, God. And they're playing the nicest music, too. Like, everything is just all perfect. Damn. Everything is going great under the night sky. Not for long, though. I'm sick of eating birds. You little shits. I want pudding. Apple pie. Pancakes? These old kids is bugging the fuck out. You better, you better be happy that you eating anything, period. Dominic wants to go hunting? I think Dominic is dying next. These kids are in the forest now? Uh-oh. The guy specifically told them to not go into the forest. Didn't he say that? He said that in the wasteland, the demons won't be there to get them. But in the forest, that's where the demons are. So the fact that they went to the forest to even go hunt for birds, when there's clearly birds in the wasteland a couple of clips back. It's like, I'm telling you, something bad's about to happen. They're trying to get these weird ass fishes. Damn, there's some ew, some slimy ass fish just on trees. Bro, it's getting dark and they're just chilling in the forest. Get the fuck out of there. You gotta grab that shit by the gills. Who's going to taste it for safety? Oh shit. Good luck. Oh, why would you get the kid that plays piano to taste it? Those things are slimy, aren't they? We don't even know if they're safe to eat. They could be poisonous. We love it when you play piano. But what if he dies if he eats it? I guess we must step up. Oh my god. The Splatoon kids. I swear to god, dude. Put these little bitches on a Nintendo console already. Ray? Nah, don't let Ray ta- Let the Splatoon kids taste it. Don't let Ray taste it. Oh, you're bugging. Why, why would you let Ray taste this? Ten minutes has passed? And they're still like, hmm. Nah, that shit must have tasted like ass. Thirty minutes. Damn. They actually offered themselves up to taste this food, and if something bad happened to them, nothing seems wrong. 
It's delicious. Oh my god, everyone's eating it. Oh shit. We get to see what happens with the demons. Oh shit! Jail cells? Who are they about to visit? Who's that? The really old lady? We haven't seen her in forever. Is that gonna be a new mama? It's unfortunate to lose such a competent person like you. Is that oh, is that OG mama? But you made a grave error, so I suppose this is the consequence. I will return all the children unharmed and ship them out as originally planned. Though they were labeled as special, in the end they are only children. Then I have good news. Is that is that the original mama from season one? You'll be able to see them soon. Yes, I think that's mama. It takes a long time for living things to grow. Who is this kid, bro? This little big head, white haired kid, he looked like a bootlegged Norman. They already want to make plans to rescue Phil and all the other kids from the first farm. Whoa! Explosions! Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. SWAT team? MP5s? Wait, what's going on? Are these the humans? These can't be demons. These have to be the humans. Ain't no way they're gonna shoot some kids if they see them. From the sounds of their footsteps, they're humans, probably from the house. But are they good humans or bad humans? That's the question. That's crazy. They just got to the shelter and now they gotta leave the shelter? We're missing two. Don and Rossi. Oh my God, fake Norman and... <laughs> You'll be useful to this farm for a long time. Or you've been useful. She, they're gonna kill her? Do you wish to see those children one last time? I'm too ashamed to face them. I know that they will get away. So they are special. They are my children after all. What? They're gonna kill her because they got the plant where they stab you. My man said Doria. My man plays Smash and he mains Ganon. They're about to get shot with an MP5. Keep, okay, keep quiet but quick. Don't let them find us. Oh my god, ain't no way. They're running through the damn tunnels. This is our playground. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess there's one advantage of the kids running in the caves. Oh shit, man came down looking like Persona 5 catching Joker with the MP5 drawn. We just want to live a normal life like everyone else. You never had any of that to begin with. That's how shelters usually are. Ooh, he knows. Damn. Damn. Yo, they, oh shit, they tackled this man. These kids are not going to get too far. To the forest? They're going back to the forest? Why would you do that? This is bad. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, the big ugly shit. Oh, my God. It's back. What did y'all do? Why did you summon that thing? Why would you shoot in the air in the middle of the dark? Oh, my God. That thing is ugly. That shit looked like it came straight out of Cold Lyoko. Oh, we caught him in the jelly eye. Ew, what the hell? That shit looked like it got infected instantaneously. Damn, so they're about to kill off Mama. Are you able to get them back? those children so she's gonna go hunt down the kids again in that case i'm willing to give you a chance if the current operation fails we'll leave everything to you if you can retrieve every single child we shall release you that's cap that's cap 100 percent release me from what we will release you from gracefield that is cap we'll erase the number on your neck remove the device from your heart that is cap and we'll give you freedom it should be no surprise you know perfectly well how valuable the perfect scores are that's cap your release won't be the only reward what else? Rest assured, I will get back those children who betrayed me. Mama's back. Mama is back. Oh my gosh. This season's about to be very eventful. They brought Mama back from season one. How is she going to hunt them down though? So they're, are they running from the monster right now? This is just like I said. I am glad that now the season is starting to pick up because I think they were about to kill off Mama right there. But since Mama agreed to their terms that if she gets every child back, she's going to be released now mama's gonna be the new villain i don't know how she's gonna dress i hope she has like a cool outfit or something i hope she's not just dressed up in like a in, in like in spanish terms it's called like a bata like a little dress i hope she has like some crazy ass cool outfit and she's out there actually hunting the kids down so she can round them up and shit this is gonna make some really good content towards this season and i'm very excited for that but anyway like i said if you guys enjoyed this episode hit that thumbs up subscribe if you guys are new i'll see you guys in the next video or in the next live stream thank you guys again and i'll see you guys next time